Hello everyone, welcome back to the video tutorial series of Hepras. Today we will discuss about steady flow modeling, modeling free stocks. Here are the specific objectives of this experiment. Here are some given data. It is said that the channel is rectangular, channel width is 100 meter, channel length is 9900 meter, manning sand can be assumed as 0.025, the discharge in the channel is 200 meter cube per second and the channel slope for the first and last third parts of the channel is equal to last two digit of student number plus 50 divided by one lakh. The channel slope of the middle part is equal to twice the slope of the first and last first or last part of the channel and the downstream boundary condition is equal to normal depth. I have prepared the model already. I will just uh, discuss about the procedures. So first of all, I have to create the new project, then set the unit system. After that, I have to go to the view or edit geometric data. View or edit geometric data. Then I have to draw a river reach uh, and give the river and which name after that i have to go to edit or create cross sections window then i have to assign the cross sectional data so here you can see that the river and which name is visible here so if we go to this uh, one here we can understand what we have to do basically we have to give at least four cross sectional data for this experiment so I have given the first river station, the upstream river station number is 9900, then the next one is 6600, the third one is 3300, and the last one is 0. You can give any river station number, but remember that the upstream should be the highest one, and the downstream should be the lower ones. So there are three portions here. It is the first portion, it is the second portion, and this is the third portion. So each portion will be equal to 9900 divided by 3, which is equal to 3300 meter because the channel length is said to be 9900 meter. So, as there are uh, three portions here, so each portion of, uh, will be equal to 3300 meter. And the slope value is said to be roll plus 50 divided by 1 lakh. So I have assumed the roll as 13. So the value will be 13 plus 50 divided by 1 lakh, which is equal to 0 0.00063. So it will be the value of the first and third portion slope. And for the second portion, it will be just double because it is said in the question. So if you look at the river station 9900, the cross section uh, data is assumed to be 0, 10, 0, 0, 100, 0, and 100, 10. Here 100 is uh, also the river channel width. So we have to uh, give the value here. So here you can see that the station and elevation data is given here. And LOB channel ROB will be equal to 3300 meter manning sand will be equal to 0 0.025 and the main channel bank station will be equal to 0 and 100. After that you have to assign the value of 6600 river station. So the value will be equal to here x coordinate will be uh, the same as the previous ones. So the x coordinate will be 0 then comma the previous elevation which was the y coordinate uh, y coordinate is 10, then minus slope value. So the slope value for the first portion is 0 0.00063. Then we have to multiply it by uh, 3300. So the final value will be 0, 10 minus 0 0.00063 into 3300. So here is the final value. So the coordinate here will be 0, comma, the previous y value, which was also 0. Then we have to give minus then slope value, which was uh, 0 0.00063 into 3300. Then it will be the value here. 
which is 0, comma, minus 2.079. Here, the x value is equal to 100 and y value will be equal to this one. And here x value is 100 and y value will be equal to this one. So here you can see that the station and elevation is assigned here. You can type it manually or also go to options and just elevation. Then if you want to, uh, suppose you want to minus elevation two. So you have to keep minus two, then okay. Then the elevation will be adjusted from the previous ones. So uh, here you can see that the station and elevations are visible here and LOB channel ROB is equal to 3300. And you can also see this value. After that, if you look at the station of 3300, so here the value will be, the X coordinate is zero, which is also zero for the previous one. Then the Y coordinate is 7.91, because the previous coordinate is 7.91, then we have to give minus, slope value here yeah, slope value will be 0 0.0006 into 2 because it is the slope value of the second portion then into 3300 so here will be the final value after that this coordinate will be 0 comma minus 2.079 minus 0 0.00063 into 2 into 3300 so this is the value and here x coordinate will be 100 which is also equal to the previous one and y coordinate will be minus 6.237 for this rectangular perception. And here the value will be 100, which is the previous x values and y coordinate will be equal to this one, which is 3.763. So we have to assign the value again. So here you can see I have assigned the value and this value. After that, the last cross section value is 0, 3.763 minus 0 0.00063. Here, 3.763 is this value, and the slope value is 0 0.00063 for the third portion, then into 3300. Because the channel length be, uh, between uh, two river stations are 3300. So here is the final value. And uh, if you look at this uh, coordinate calculation, it will be 0, comma, minus 6.273. Here it is, uh, minus 0 0.0063 into 3300. So the final value will be this one. And here you can see the values for this and this coordinate. So we have to again assign the value here and LOB channel ROB will be equal to zero because after this river station, there are no cross-sectional data at the downstream. So that cause this window, then you can go to use XS, system, uh, XS interpolation. Then within a reach, suppose I am uh, interpolating at a distance of 100 meter, then give interpolate XS, then close it. So here you can see our interpolated data. If you go to the cross section, so here you can see the interpolated data is shown here. The interpolated cross section is marked as star mark. After that, go to file, then save the geometry data by a name. Uh, after that, close this one, go to this view related study flow data, then give the discharge value, which is 200, then go to uh, that amplify data and go to reach boundary condition, then, then select the downstream as normal depth, normal depth here, then give the slope value, which was 13 plus 50 divided by 1 lakh, then select OK and OK. Then go to this one, study flow analysis, give a plan name, suppose I'm giving so simulation, 
can select OK. Then give a suppose I'm giving a short line identifier as one two three four five. Then select OK. Flow resume is successful. Then compute. So our simulation is done. Then you can go to this profile plot. Then cross sectional window and check the values here. Then you can go to these tables as well to check the final result. So here is the short demonstration of our today's experiment. To know more about the detailed procedure uh, of how you can draw river reach or assign uh, cross section, what is LOB channel and ROV or uh, uh, something like that, you can check out my previous tutorials to know more about the basic concepts. I have just demonstrated it in a short procedure. That's it. Uh, if you like the video, you can subscribe my channel. Thank you. See you in next tutorial.